Hey, Viola here, and welcome back to the garden. It's been a minute. I'm a month late. <laughs> I was really trying to do, you know, one video a month, but you know, life, and <laughs> that's honestly what I want to talk about. In this very short video, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be a part one and a part two because I felt like the footage that I had didn't really go together. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about rest and like actual rest. So the whole point of my videos are being in the garden, which I forgot to say, welcome to the garden where we rest, reflect, and use our time intentionally. <laughs> Um, but I really wanted to talk about um, rest. But before I talk about rest and like pausing, I wanted to talk about comfort. I think comfort is huge for me. Oh, today's video is going to be me talking a lot, by the way. I guess kind of podcasty, you know. So hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> Just going to ramble. Um, but yeah, I... Comfort is huge for me. I definitely feel like it's like a value of mine. Like, um, I love comfort things like a bunch of pillows on my bed, very soft blankets, um, lighting in my room a certain way during the day, just like things that bring me like a sense of warmth. Um, the problem with liking comfort things is <laughs> I can sit in them for too long. Um, or find even quicker comforts. So, um, watching like YouTube videos and mindlessly scrolling. Like, you know, when you're mindlessly scrolling, like, we all know it. Like, I'm not doing any, nothing's happening. I'm not really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because I don't feel like doing <laughs> anything else. Or, I, everyone in my family and my friends know, like, OC is reading her book. I steady be reading something. Um, and that's like my quick. It can turn into like a quick comfort for me than just a comfort. I will come home after work and just go now and just get on my book. <laughs> and not want to think about anything. Um, and so this flower, this painting, um, is of an Arun flower if I'm saying that right. And it represents faith if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, well, I don't know. I just remember I started this or had a plan for this flower forever ago and never like started it. Um, and so this is me finally like, okay, I'm going to paint this faith flower, you know? And it's interesting that during this faith flower painting process, I was struggling with um, comforts or using my time intentionally. And I wanted to use this painting to, like, use my time intentionally and just, like, really take time to rest and to pause. Um, I think when people think rest, it's like, oh, you know, I'm like, I need to rest. I need to gather my strength and, like, lay down kind of thing. I'm kind of seeing rest as that, but also as a time for pause. I think we're just running, 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 running. And then when we're not running anymore, it's like, Ooh, let me do like a quick little exhale and do this little quick comfort, you know. <laughs> I'm going to zone out for a second versus like rest, gathering your strength, but rest like I'm going to pause and figure out like look at my life, look at my choices kind of thing <laughs> or just use the time to um, peacefully do something. I feel like with comforts, um, especially like when we're in like high intense emotions we don't want to feel our emotions and we kind of blow through our emotions like humans blow through yellow lights and um we like are just we're either re reactive or avoiding because it's like I, I can't I don't want to feel this right now so I'm going to turn to my quick comfort thing um that could be like you know food or me reading or you know binge watching something or you know even even more detrimental um quick comforts like drinking and things like that um because we don't want to feel things you know uh we don't want to feel pain or we don't want to feel uh like in our anxiety or we don't want to feel like our sadness and try to figure out where it's coming from or i should say acknowledge where it's coming from because we know where stuff is coming from we just don't want to acknowledge it <laughs> 
And seeing rest as a moment of pause, like to acknowledge, okay, I'm feeling pain because X, Y, Z. I'm feeling anxiety because X, Y, Z and like working through it. So like when I'm painting, yeah, sometimes you're in the zone and it feels like you're not thinking. But other times I kind of take painting or, or doing my art practice as a time to reflect and talk to God and work through things. Because like painting is me, is you constantly working through what you're doing because I don't know what I'd be doing I'm like shadow what is shadow and I'm just adding paint (laughs) and I'm playing and so just kind of letting it be a metaphor for play because I don't know what I'm doing um at all (laughs) during a lot of this and clearly I didn't like what I was doing so I kept on doing and covering up like I am here um and I think that's what's cool about paint or the art process like it'll dry and you can just cover it for the most part or you can try again even though it's like not forgiving but forgiving at the same time it's strange like so you can see the stroke works underneath but it's like okay we'll just cover it up and do it again or you make mistakes like I had scratched into like the thick layer of black paint and I'm like oh that looks cool I can see the purple underneath so now I want to make leaves you know and so like seeing rest as a time to reflect and a time to really think things through from a a place of like um a a little more peace like the anxiety or whatever is still there but I'm sitting with it I'm acknowledging it and I'm working through it uh, through your art or through prayer because I feel like I get to talk to God during my moments of my art making too um and like see how I'm still still comfort is still a thing like I'm setting it up in my living room the painting and like I have that ambiance music in the background that you guys can't hear (laughs) Um, but like just doing what I can to, um, be intentional with my time. This scene is funny because I set up this really cute little nook in the living room (laughs) to start painting and it's so beautiful. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get things done. I'm going to use this time intentionally this weekend and be all cute or whatever and then my behind went right back to the couch as you can see (laughs) and I just thought it was so funny so I had to record so I'm like nah I don't feel like doing this and I think that's why we should have more than one thing that we can do in pause so I was like I'm gonna make some bouquets for myself and so yeah I didn't paint but um I'm still choosing to not sit and mindlessly do something I'm doing something that brings me joy and fills me up and so I hope um I don't know I hope my little ramble about comfort and rest can make you think about things a little bit differently so you can um learn to figure out how to use your time intentionally I'm not gonna sit here like I don't be struggling like you'll see part two (laughs) part two is coming (laughs) and in part two I didn't touch that painting just FYI um yeah like we just we just have to take it day by day moment by moment um and just kind of thought stop I guess and look what I made I'm really proud of myself they look great (laughs) I'm sorry for the shaky camera hands but I'll see you guys in part two and thank you so much for entering the garden with me and hopefully using this time to do a rest and have a rest moment